Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you my electronic cigarette holder uh, made with buckyballs and um, here's their business card as you can see and I'll bring that closer the reason why I'm showing you this business card is because on the, the back of this business card is a very important warning that you uh, shouldn't ignore and um, as you can see there it can, you can cause yourself serious injury or death if you swallow or inhale these so I'll take this seriously if I was you and um, because a lot of people haven't taken heed to this warning um, Buckyballs are now in a massive lawsuit with the uh, CPSC the uh, Consu uh, Consumer Product Safety Commission and potentially could be shut down so if you want to learn more about that head on over to getbuckyballs.com and uh, you can see their video on it and their take on it and, and see some of the uh, consumer feedback on it uh, Anyway, here's my, my electronic uh, cigarette holder. It's made with about four packs of buckyballs. Quite a simple design. I mean, most people know how to make these. Um, what are they called? Pentagon? Yeah, I think it's Pentagon. I might be wrong. I'm not too up on, up on the shapes. <laughs> and um, just made a few layers of them and put an extra buckyball on the corners there to give that Chinese roof kind of look. And it's very sturdy. It won't fall about now. So there's a it's forever rolling about off my desk and off my um, uh, computer keyboard uh, uh, pull out apart so um, that's ideal anyway tell us what you think about it please wait comment and subscribe or um, give me some uh, uh, tips on uh, how to improve it and uh, the next thing I'd like to show you is a uh, really cool thing it's uh, something I've recently come across but have been familiar with for a long time it's a uh, a magnetic putty and um, it's like uh, your normal super putty kind of stuff you know the bounces and tears and glows in the dark and whatnot but this one is magnetic and you plonk a buckyball on there and it eventually seeps its way all the way into there because the uh, the uh, iron filaments in the uh, putty claw at it and try to bring it down into the substance there and it's quite cool to play about with, there's a bucket cube in there and after a while they completely disappear in there, it like drags it in and, and completely um, engulfs them with the putty and uh, another cool thing you can do with it get yourself a quite a strong magnet, you can do this with the bucket balls as well but a big strong magnet like that has more of an effect you put that close there look what happens Big old worm comes out chasing after the magnet. Just trying to reach it, look. That is freaky. You can move this worm around. <laughs> That's just too weird. Anyway. I'll just bung that on there and it will swallow that as well no problems as you can see the um, bucky ball and bucky cube I put on there is almost completely gone in it kind of eats it unlike what humans are supposed to do but um, this, if you want to see your bucky cubes and bucky balls getting swallowed do it with magnetic putty instead yeah well please rate, comment, subscribe and let us know what you think and uh, Thanks very much for watching.